March, it's time for Daydream, and strange enough, Daydream is being held in early March this time. It's mostly because of the... Ooh, no. San Francisco's gotten a massive rainstorm. That's unusual. Big match here. We got Renee versus Mike, and these two guys have not been to a second well, round yet. Going at the back. So obviously, these two are gonna want someone's going through to the second round. The 16 matches. If Renee wins, she faces chaos. If Mike wins, she'll have to wait a little bit to find out who's the point of move. Should have put a little more oomph in that. So 
Oh, good. I'm not the fucking Don't pick at it. Hit the ball. Renee can actually pull one out, of the, one out of the hat. Or will she tire? Yes, she will. She will. Ho, ho. The right combination. Well, geez. I thought Mike had it right in his hands. It was three big cops. But sometimes... Sometimes you can't. Sorry about that. Well, the third hole with the Kraken. I got the sand trap. Pretty much all Mike's got to do is avoid the sand trap. And he's got this one. Oh, you hit the water too. big match up here between Tiff and Ratchet. Both these guys have not got out of the first round, so basically we're waiting to see what happens. 16 fall. Got a bit of a downhill of 22 yards. Matchups actually had competitors who have no, who had not won a match who were 0 2 in the first round to face each other. So the only second to have that, but I guess they want to get that up and over. I don't know. Yep, it hit her. Oh no, a hitter? A hitter! A determined hit hitter on the foot, so she's got to get a club down. Yep, this is what happens. There's the pagoda in the middle. Ratchet, no, pagoda. That's what happens. That might have ruined her suck chuck. she get that angle? And she's going to win the match. Son of a sword. Jesus, Murphy. Here we go. We got Emma and Shed. Emma did pretty well last year. Last year in China, taking third place. She's got nine points. Shed actually took second in the same tournament. Hold on to your head. So basically, these two, got, two of the three finalists from China have to face each other, which is kind of strange, but that's the way the ball had bounced.
I know for sure they would have called it out of bounds. It's on the green. Daydream, it's T-Bone and Falcon, both heavy hitters, T-Bone is only having three points in two tournaments, Falcon, same pair. Now, of course, T-Bone, if he wins, he gets something much better. Well, not just a second round matchup. Ooh, too much of a that. I know what he was aiming for. But I think that Falcon just... Now Tebow not only well not only will Tebow get two second rounds here in San Francisco, he actually gets a bonus point because Falcon is dead is dead man walking. Oh no, he screwed because that tree is right in his sight line on the right. got 12 points, Maya's got 21, well Maya won the January tournament in Arizona, and Tony took second, which is very ironic that these two would face each other. Tony has the lead. 
Connie would like to make it to the next round without any problems from Maya whatsoever. Of course, Maya and Kamala are the only two who are set for the Super Cubs, obviously. If you have to, all you have to do to get the Super Cubs is win a tournament. But if somebody wins multiple tournaments, you can still get in on wild card points. Most points by a non -winner. We usually have three or four, so... and Mel to take each other on in this match. Mel has 3.22 tournaments, uh, Regis has 7. So, let's see what happens. 3 holes. If Mel wins, he will win a little bit by not his opponent. If Regis wins, he gets on the battle with Shorty. That's what they say, not me. Yeah, I know it's a six. They screwed up. It's supposed it to be a Winnie and Mishpi. They said that there might be potential for rain, but I don't think so. I think it's going to be close to rain, but we'll see what happens. Oh, 
Hold on now, let's see what we just need. Well, it's a big win for some, but anyway, Jack will take on Zeus. Um, Jack has nine points through two. Sorry, what? Zeus has five. Five protecting strong. Of course, Jack, two time Super 12 champion, and Blaster had a shitty year. A very bad year. He only had, how many points did he have? And he had 16, I think. Yeah, he had 16 points last year. Tournament Kamala. After a second round loss in January, she won the whole tournament in February. She even won the short course championship, which is not easy to do by any stretch of the imagination, but she did it. She takes on the shot and she's done pretty well for herself. She took third in January and got four points. Took, I believe, fifth. won the short course on a lucky last hole to knock Lynn off. Of course, no points were exchanged in this. Camelo. Adrian is named. People have daydreams of winning this tournament. Saki has a chance. Two 
gorgeous, I believe. She wins, she'll take on Cody in the next round. Kamala does have the knowledge she's in the Super 12s, but points do matter in positioning. Well, that's just what everyone knows. On to the second. High drive, 288. Do you really see a hole that has placed more than 600 yards? 600 yards. Usually you see like 500 yarders. 291, that's not her. No distract doesn't need anything. Now Misaki's gonna play a the chasm. And that works. She'll have a 62 yard up and over. Kamala. Nope. Shot for Kamala. 67 yard shot. She didn't like lose any points because of that. I didn't lose any points. Wait, how far is Kamala? Yeah, she'll have to putt. Yeah, she has to putt. I'm sorry. I think she had to cut because I know it's within 10 feet, isn't she? being the way it is, it won't probably get to move the same track. Oh, will it? Probably. Stay out of the sand. That's what Kamala will... Excuse me, Misaki does. Misaki knows she can stay out of the sand and we're okay. This is not going to end well. So the smart thing for Misaki to do... Oh, she almost hit it too! Because what the smart thing to do is get it close because that's the way I'll get the car pipes. Because come out with the um, hands. That's just hopeless. And Misaki will now take on 20 in the next round. So our next matchup is in the context of Cuba versus Louise. They both have only three points. They both have been knocked out once in the first round and once in the second round. That's how these two have got this far for three points. Thank you, Rick. Give her very careful. I mean, that's not good. It's like a very narrow fairway on four. Oh, oh! Watch. 
What a uh, kick! does here on number five. You're going to have to go to the green on the left. To the Arc de Triomphe, if you will. You call that. Because obviously it goes right, right into that freaking sand trap. Or the water. And that will destroy you because oh yeah. with three points, so someone's going to try to get into a second round. You know, the winner of this match goes in the sixth matchup. That doesn't mean that they'll be in the sixth matchup. Third, second round matchup. Like, they'll go last. I mean, it's just a number. It's, it's basically just a number to settle who you're going to face. I do know that all these guys are not really the long hitters, so... Yeah, I hit the water, but the water is incorporated into the fairway. So technically, that is not a water hazard. I wouldn't be a sand. That's a different type of hazard. Now, I know a lot of people are asking me... Hang on a second. Water, you only lose one stroke, and sand, you lose two. Why is water worse than sand? Because water is like a a very tiresome hazard. Sand, a lot of people do good with sand shakes. So basically, you hit the water. One person hits the water, one person hits the sand, the next shot. Presidents goes to sand because at least your ball is dry. Will Phoebe connect? A curling shot. That actually gets through the hole. This is a very tight hole. We love it to get on the green. A little too much slow, but I'm here. I'm game if you are. Alright, 
So our last match up here at Daydream in the first round is Lynn versus Sam. Lynn's got five points, Sam's got four. So anyway, the winner of this match gets Phoebe. Now, a very big announcement. A very big announcement. Well, I still have the audience is that the Judy Tournament at Northern Fox will actually be a very special tournament. It will be a World Cup format. Now, I know you're saying, hold on, the Olympics. Hold on, what about the Olympics? Now, the World Cup format is that we you know Americans have 12 golfers, um, and there's 12 golfers that are from non, from like, are non-American. But when I did my research, I only found that nine of the, I found that nine of the, um, there were nine, only represented by nine countries. There are two Canadian golfers, two American golfers, I mean, two, oh, sorry, two British golfers and two Japanese golfers. Every other country only has one. Sam? Nope. He was very poignant. Can I get that one down? So what's happening is that... what they're thinking. What are the kids do? Is that they're gonna they're gonna have the twelve best golfers compete at the World Cup at the World Cup format.